Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Another package. Something martial arts video gaming related. Let's open it up and see what it is. Okay, so this one's come all the way from the UK. Uh, let's take a look and see. Okay, Bad Dudes vs. Dragon Ninja from about 1988, I think. Uh, very cool. And what system have we got here? Commodore, the Commodore Cassette. So this is a cassette game. Yes, yes folks, a cassette. Uh, we'll take a look at it in just a second, hoping it's in there. It looks like it is. So in the US, it was known as Bad Dudes. In Europe and Japan, I believe it was known as Dragon Ninja. And as you can see, it's got the small Bad Dudes logo here in the corner, just in case you didn't know what it was that you were playing. I guess just to avoid confusion. And as you can see here, it's quite an... It's quite a distinct sort of pack here. Not a CD shape, and it's not a cassette shape. So, again, this is something that's very hard to replace. Once it cracks, that's it. I can't get a replacement for it. So we're going to have to keep this in good condition. It looks in pretty good condition, so I'm quite happy with that. Pretty cool artwork on the front here. Okay, it's a typical side-scrolling sort of beat-em-up from the 80s. Had an unofficial sequel, if I recall, which was called Two Crude Dudes. Not really related. A real cheesy sort of plot as well. I think it's the um, the president get, gets kidnapped by ninjas, and it's your job <laughs> to rescue him. I think the story was changed slightly in Europe and Japan. The reason behind that was, well, I guess that the other storyline was more appealing to US audiences. So from what you can see here, we've got the artwork that is on the arcade cabinet. It's been modified to fit the cover here. And here we've got two characters looking very... I don't know, it looks like the cover to a No Retreat, No Surrender movie. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. On the back we've got a cool looking dragon. And the screenshots to our game. Now, I, I did own this originally, back in the day. I owned this on the Amstrad CPC. The cover was pretty much identical as I remember it, but it was a diskette, it wasn't a cassette. I mean, even the back is pretty much the same. Obviously, obviously the, uh, the screenshot's different. All right, let's open it up and take a look at what's inside. Set. Here we go, copyright 19, 1988. I was right, 1988. See, useless facts. Okay. See, this is... <laughs> this is how I used to play music for a very, very long time. <laughs> One of these, folks. Uh, a lot of young people won't really know what this is, but... And the good thing about cassettes, if you remember back in the day, was you could just copy them, no problem. Now another thing that was always interesting to me was, because well, I never owned a, uh, a computer system that used cassettes, so when I did see these in the shops back in the day, yes, that's right, these were in the shops, I always wondered what would happen if you played it in an audio cassette player. Now, I remember that this advert 
is exactly the same as the one that I had on my copy all those years ago. Very cool. Very cool. And at the time, Robocop was a pretty new film. Yes, the original Robocop. And it was massively violent. <laughs> And I was always wanting to watch it, but alas, because of my young age, Robocop was off limits. And Batman as well. Batman the movie was coming out around that time too. The Michael Keaton one. But didn't you like all these violent movies? All these violent movies that were coming out at this time. Also being marketed to young children. <laughs> We've got our booklets, our instruction booklets, or manual, whatever you want to call it, Commodore. Of course, mine originally said Amstrad. It's like the freaking map from Goonies. Treasure, where do we get the treasure? Here. <laughs> All right, that's cool. All right, very happy with this little discovery, this little purchase here. So, um, yeah, that's our Dragon Ninja cassette game. Now, another funny thing that I remember about this game was when we did go and purchase it, when it was a new game, many, many eons ago, it was in a specialised computer store, because that's what computer stores were back in that day, a very specialised sort of store, full of snobs and pompous people that look down on you because you didn't know stuff about computers. <laughs> they brought this game out from the back. They didn't actually have a copy of the Amstrad version, which was the one that I was purchasing. They had probably this version or something like that. And they booted that one up instead to show me what the game looked like before we actually purchased it. And inexplicably, as soon as you turn the game on, it shows you a picture of Bruce Lee. <laughs> so, Bruce Lee has nothing to do with this game, but it was still cool, and of course you could market anything with martial arts and kung fu if you had a picture of Bruce Lee on it. And when the game was loading up, and it took a long time to load up as, as we stood there in the store, I remember the salesman, some young snotty-nosed guy, knew nothing about the games, and he says, Dragon Ninja, yeah, because that's one of the Bruce Lee movies. Is it? I don't think so. <laughs> but he... He was pretty sure that it was a Bruce Lee movie, and that this was based on a Bruce Lee movie. It has nothing to do with Bruce Lee. Again, apart from the No Retreat, No Surrender looking sort of cover here. <laughs> but yeah, that was, a, that was a vivid memory for me for some reason. <laughs> another, okay, another thing to take note of with this game is the hilarious sound effects. Now, the arcade version has the funniest sound effects. Some of the funniest sound effects that I've ever heard in an arcade game. Let me check this out. Is that hilarious or what? And the CPC Amstrad version that I had had a weird sort of a weird sort of Aussie accent. Like this, check this out. Game over. So that was a bit of unintentional comedy with this game. Another thing to point out is that one of the bad guys the bad guy on the first stage is actually Karnov. Karnov had his own video game as well. So I don't know how he fits into the picture. You know, how, why he's suddenly a bad guy as well. So he's also had other games like Karnov's Revenge, which is kind of interesting. And yeah, many, many hours were spent playing this game on the Amstrad. And I'm glad to have this back in my collection now, even though it's not the Amstrad version, it's the Commodore version, just as cool. So, yes, this is going straight into the collection with the rest of my retro martial arts video games. And I hope you join me again. We've got more junk like this on the way. But hey, hey, it's not junk if you love it, right? What may be junk to some people is a treasure to somebody else. So, join me again. <laughs>